guy kind of looks like Squidward. What a do, Ski? It's your boy, Farewell34, and today I'm here with my reaction to Season 1, Episode 13. This one is the finale for Doctor Who, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a wild season so far of Who. And not wild, it's been, it's been an interesting season, I'd say. Um, as someone who never thought they'd end up watching Doctor Who, I'm pleasantly surprised with the show. You know, I definitely do have problems here and there with the show, uh, you know, in terms of just, like, you know, the storytelling sometimes, like, the pacing, um, you know, just how sort of a little, sometimes it feels a little dated, cringy occasionally. I mean, but for the most part, I'm still enjoying the show, uh, and I'm, I'm having fun with the ride, so, uh, it, it's been honestly a, a solid time watching it so far. Uh, we have 10 more seasons after this, plus there's specials that I wasn't aware of. So now I know. Shout out to, uh, all of you in the comments section and Gibbsy, my boy who helped me edit. Um, so yeah, really looking forward to what else the show has to offer. And, uh, let's just dive right into this one. As always, if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to leave a hot like and subscribe if you haven't already. Again, if you're interested in actually joining the Patreon page to get early access to these videos. So instead of getting, uh, two videos a week on YouTube, you'll actually get, you'll be, you can get three on Patreon, plus those episodes are actually much more ahead than the YouTube audience. So if you're interested in that, then be sure to check out patreon.com slash fellow 34 in the description down below. And yeah, last episode we had a uh, quick touch, touch upon the last episode, we had the huge reveal that it was actually the Daleks that were um, responsible, not only for this situation that was happening with um, the reality game show stuff, but they've been sort of watching and planning this sort of secret invasion against the Doctor this entire time, plotting, using this sort of bad wolf device um, to remind the audience and, I guess, scare the Doctor or something. But that was really interesting, so uh, I can't wait to see how this is going to go in terms of uh, the finale and how the Doctor's going to react. But anyway, with that being said, let's get this one going, y'all. Yeet. See ya. I'm going to be sad now when when, when Eccleston ends up leaving or taking a, a, an absence or something and a new doctor comes in. It's going to be so weird. Now we're getting right into it. Yo, they need to take a chill pill. They're a little too intense for me. Oh, shit. Is that how the TARDIS... I'm confused. Like I, I saw the the TARDIS just floating through space, and I'm like, I thought it just sort of just disappears and reappears places. I didn't know it actually can do that as well. Oh shit! Dude, there's a person in there now. Guess I haven't seen you in years. I told you I'd come and get you. I never doubted you. I did. You all right? Talk about a heartthrob. I was there. The war between the Daleks and the Time Lords, with the whole of creation at stake. My people were destroyed, but they took the Daleks with them. You thought? I thought it was worth it. Now it turns out they died for nothing. Oh my it's god, it feels this episode. Let's go meet the neighbors. You can't go out there! <laughs> <laughs> It's all right. Come on out. That force field can hold back anything, almost anything. Yes, but I wasn't going to tell him that. Thanks. Sorry. Do you know what they call me in the ancient legends of the Dalek homeworld? The oncoming storm. Oh, I was going to say the boogeyman. You might have removed all your emotions, but I reckon right down deep in your DNA, there's one little spark left, and that's fear. Doesn't it just burn when you face me? 
So tell me, how did you survive the time war? They survived through me. Nani? Is it a big Dalek? What? The what? Mega Dalek? Oh, I was just joking. What the fuck is that? Rose, Captain. This is the Emperor of the Daleks. You destroyed us, Doctor. The Dalek race died in your inferno, but my ship survived. Falling through time, crippled, but alive. I get it. Do not interrupt! Do not interrupt! I think you're forgetting <laughs> Oh my I'm the doctor, God. and if there's one thing I can do, it's talk. I've got five billion languages, and you haven't got one way of stopping me. So if anybody's gonna shut up, it's you! Harvesting the waste of humanity. The prisoners, the refugees, the dispossessed, they all came to us. Mm -hmm. The bodies were filleted, piped, sifted. Oh. The human race Are the Daleks... They, oh, they've been getting humans and making them Daleks? So you created an army of Daleks out of the dead. That makes them... half human. Whoa. Damn. That's actually pretty messed. Holy shoot. This is weird. Driven mad by your own flesh. I'm loving the, the close-ups. Of humanity. We're going. You may not leave my presence. Stay where you are. Exterminate. Well, what are they supposed to do? Now that they're aware there's an army of them, like the doctor must be shook at to his core. Damn, that's just ringing in his head. Listen, listen. My name's Roderick. I won the game. Where's my money? I won the game. Where's my money? Oh my god, the fleet is moving. They're on their way. Whoa. They are screwed. Purify the earth with fire. Oh, the graphics look actually not bad. This guy kind of looks like Squidward. Transmitter. This state. If I can change the signal, fold it back, sequence it. Anyone? He's stressing. Give the man a medal. A delta wave. A delta wave. What's a delta wave? A wave of ancestral energy it fries your brain. Stand in the way of a delta wave, and your head gets barbecued. How long till the fleet arrive? Wait two minutes. <laughs> That's like an episode of Rick and Morty, dude. I, d I just want to say um thanks. I suppose and. I'll do my best. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> good job, fam. But I guess this is goodbye. Don't talk like that. Hmm? The doctor's gonna do it. You just watch him. Rose. You are worth fighting for. You're not gonna I've share? I've met you, doctor. Was much better off as a coward. <laughs> Gang shit. You, you know what? I actually now I do want to watch a show of him. <laughs> oh my god. I need every last citizen to mount a defense. Don't listen to him. There aren't any Daleks. They disappeared thousands of years ago. So here's a few words of advice. Keep quiet. And if you hear fighting up above, if you hear us dying. Then tell me that the Daleks aren't real. It's the year two. Don't make a sound. It's year like two hundred thousand some shit. Or Let's go. Y'all don't got like a transmitter, no cell phone. You can be like, there they are. You know. Oh, I feel some real talks coming. Why can't you just go back to last week and warn them? As soon as the TARDIS lands in that second, I become part of events, stuck in the timeline. Yeah, I thought it'd be something like that. There's another thing the TARDIS could do. 
could take us away. We could leave. Let history take its course. We go to Marbella in 1989. Yeah, but you'd never do that. No, but you could ask. Never even occurred to you, did it? Well, I'm just too good. Yeah, they're honestly much better than me. I, I, I would try the whole helping and saving the world thing a couple times, but I mean, after like the 19th time, and it's 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 become more of a hassle than it is to actually help them. I'd probably cut. Yo, I just took it into finale. You can't die, bro. Like, don't do, don't do, don't do me like this. thought she died and she couldn't handle that. He couldn't bear it, so he says, nope. Not letting that happen. Are you serious? Ooh.